Welcome back to Breakfast with Bob. My name is Bob Babbitt. We are here at what is going to be the first ever Challenge Aruba. We are at the Hyatt Regency in the Hilton, right where the swim will be starting here in October. With me, Mr. Mark Benson from Aruba Tourism. How are you, Mark? I'm doing fantastic, Bob. Welcome to the island. Thank you so much. As I was mentioning a little earlier, everybody I've run into here at the hotel has been, this is my 30th time, this is my 40th time. What the heck is going on here? People come yeah. here and they don't, they always come back. Exactly, they, they come back sometimes twice a year, three times a year. Yeah. Uh, we're very proud to be uh, one of the uh, Caribbean islands with the highest return uh, visitors. Uh, we even have a program where we award uh, visitors for coming here 10, 20, 30 years. Uh, I think we even had one uh, coming for 40 times and uh, we like to award them because uh, we feel that they are the best marketing value uh, we can have because you can put an ad but if somebody tells you I love Aruba, come to Aruba, it, 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 it's, it's, it's more efficient. So you grew up here? Yes, correct. Born and, here. Born and raised. And did you leave and come back? Yes, so I went to Holland for a few years, yes. did my studies, and uh, returned back as soon as I finished. And did you? when did you get involved with the tourism group? Well, I'm working with the Tourism Authority for about a year and a half. Okay. I, I worked a lot in media um, before, and uh, but always doing events uh, as a hobby. And about a year and a half ago, I uh, got a great opportunity at the Tourism Authority to lead all the uh, events that we do on island. And it has been a great journey so far. When you're looking to get new people in, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. value of an event like Challenge Aruba, mm -hmm. which isn't a short distance race usually means local race. Correct. A longer distance race like this means a destination race, mm -hmm. which Indeed. obviously heads and beds. This is very important for the yes. island. Yes. Uh, for you, how important is an event like this? It is very important. Um, we do a lot of music festivals also, yes. Yes. Uh, which also bring a lot of people, but we have been seeing a lot of success with sporting events. Uh, so, for example, uh, Aruba is uh, hosting uh, one of the biggest beach events uh, in the world uh, in November. Okay. And uh, we see that over a thousand uh, athletes uh, come to Aruba. Uh, we have the high winds also which is a kite surfing and windsurfing event also brings a lot of people so we're uh, we're doing a lot more active uh, events we're seeing that the uh, the, the world uh, visitor is more interested in an active vacation yes. so we're investing a lot in that and on our radar uh, for a long time already was to do an international um, uh, event like uh, for example challenge and uh, when the uh, local organizers approached us we said hey we really want to do this we see we have seen the success of sport events right uh, so we want to do more um, so we're really excited for October the demographic of triathlon is mm -hmm. your typical person is 175 to 200,000 income mm -hmm. uh, they mm -hmm. they have a $5,000 bicycle so it sounds like there's a perfect marriage Correct. between a destination event like Aruba and the Challenge Aruba. That is correct, uh, because uh, we do uh, uh, focus a lot also on the affluent uh, traveler. Yes. So this fits exactly uh, in our strategy. And for yourself, what are your sports? Well, I do tennis. Ah. Uh, I just started beach tennis also. Uh, so uh, I, like, I like the tennis. When you uh, when you signed up to do this triathlon, mm -hmm. did you know that it was 1.2 miles of swimming, <laughs> 56 miles of biking? I did uh, sign up. Point, I, point. I did sign up, but in a new category, the viewing part, oh, <laughs> the viewers. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, how, in terms of your group, how will you be involved when uh, as as the time gets closer to race day mm -hmm. so basically uh, right now we have our offices uh, around the world that yes. are, are that are promoting the event to letting uh, increase the awareness for the challenge yes. event uh, in Aruba to get everyone here as soon as we're getting closer uh, we'll be a lot involved into the branding to let everybody who didn't make it this yes. time to know that the event is in Aruba um, and just coordinate everywhere and, and, and anywhere where we can help the organizers uh, to have everything settled we'll be there to uh, to assist your group, when, when you have a music festival or when you have a triathlon, that a lot of times that's the beginning of the conversation, mm -hmm. right? People who mm -hmm. came here once. How do you work on getting retention, on getting people to come mm -hmm. back? So basically, um, we do not invest in event just to have a one-time success. Exactly. And, and it's a strategy to, to promote Aruba into the, the active uh, demographic. Yes. Uh, so basically, we do uh, look forward uh, to do either uh, continuing with more uh, triathlon events and adding more sporting events. So we do have those talks with organizers to have a long-term and sustainable uh, demographic uh, continue to, to visit to Aruba. Because if we do it just for once, 
and we get a visitor next year and there's no sporting event, they're going to get disappointed. So we want to continue to keep uh, being active into that, uh, that, that world. When you look at the easiest places, or you're, you're probably the, the, the highest um, population that comes down here, I'm imagining mm -hmm. New York, Boston, the whole eastern seaboard. Is it right. your target for this race as well? Well, indeed, uh, that, that target is the, uh, the, the, the visitors that attend uh, in the biggest numbers uh, yes. to Aruba in the normal tourism. But we are not only focusing on that area in our marketing. Okay. So we're also focusing on Latin America, um, ah. Europe also. Yes. We have had uh, a lot of positive reactions uh, from Europe, Holland, uh, from athletes who are interested in coming. Uh, we know some athletes in Colombia already have uh, shown interest. So it's, it's, it's a real world thing and, and of course, uh, we'll be anxious to know at the end uh, from where, who came. Yes. But uh, we're getting positive reactions from around the world as it's the first challenge event in the Caribbean. So you're, at the end of the day, you're competing against other islands mm -hmm. and, other, mm -hmm. and South America and everywhere else for that tourism dollar. That's what correct. separates you? Well, I believe it's the people, and okay. uh, not only me, but that's what they always say. Uh, the Aruban people, uh, we are very friendly, um, and we speak uh, at least four languages. So we you speak. You guys are amazing, <laughs> by the way. All <laughs> us Americans are slackers. I mean, in fact, we can barely huh? speak English. We speak English, Spanish. Uh, Dutch. Dutch, and we have our local language, Papiamento, some even speak French. Yes. So, so tourists from around the world feel very welcome because they can communicate with everybody, uh, the, the complete staff of the hotel, the taxi drivers, so yes. they feel at ease, you know, and, uh, and the safety. I mean, uh, the island is one of the safest islands in the Caribbean. You can walk around on the beach, uh, on the boardwalk at night, in the morning, you see people jogging alongside yes. the street. So very safe, very friendly island. And and the ones who like food, I know not always a lot of food goes with triathlon because you have to watch what you eat. But we have you more have to fuel up though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You gotta have food in there. We have more than 300 restaurants on this tiny island. Really? More than 300 restaurants. How big is the island, <laughs> by the way? Well, um, it's it's you can drive from one point to the other point in about 25 minutes. Okay. So it's it's really small, uh, but we have a lot of restaurants, different types of cuisine, uh, from fine dining on the beach. You can you can dine without um, barefoot. Yes. Uh, you know to up skilled dining so there's a lot of experiences and the ones who like to gamble casinos also so there's so much things to do and for the whole family so even if you're just a couple and you're coming with your with your wife uh, a lot of people coming in for a honeymoon yes. or to even get married um, and families a lot of activities water activities also when somebody comes here to do the triathlon in October, what else should they do? What's a what are oh. must do? Well, they things. should do an island tour. What is very popular are the uh, safari jeep tours. Uh, they take you off road. They go to the natural pool that we have here. Some some hidden attractions that yes. normally you would not get to if you have, for example, a rental car. So you would need to have a jeep or a tour. So that is it, that is one thing that they must do. Uh, see our landmarks, uh, the lighthouse. Yes, uh, it's it's in renovation right now, but I believe uh, it'll be and, done. And, It'll by be then, done, yes. uh, done by Dan and other destinations, Baby Beach in St. Nicholas. So a lot of things. We're doing a lot also on uh, on art and museum uh, lately. So uh, maybe visit one of the museums also to learn a little bit of, about the history uh, of Aruba and the Indians. So you can have a, a big variety of a program while you're on the island. So come be a few days before yes. or stay a few days after. I love that. <laughs> Mark, thanks so much for, for taking time. It has time. been a pleasure. It's, I can feel your enthusiasm for this island. <laughs> For someone who grew up here, you could tell how yes. much you want people to come because you know once you've got them here, they're sold forever. That's correct. So uh, we really want to invite everyone to come to Aruba and uh, be part of the uh, the challenge uh, event. And uh, they can visit our website, aruba.com. They can see more information and, and even plan uh, what they're going to do on the island uh, before they reach here. Love that. Thanks so much for taking time. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you again. All right. Again, Breakfast with Bob here from Challenge Aruba coming up in October. Hold on, everyone. We will be right back.